This lesson will cover the difference between formal and informal speech, including how to build it and when to use it. For this, let's have a look at some examples that were used in our dialogue. David asked Anna, Woher kommen Sie? While well, she asked him, Woher kommst du? Both questions mean, where do you come from? Later, both ask, what do you do in Berlin? But David asks her, was machen Sie in Berlin? And she asks him, was machst du in Berlin? The difference is, du is the informal you, and Z is the formal U. Let's have a look at some more examples. Haben Sie morgen Zeit? Hast du morgen Zeit? Do you have time tomorrow? Wie heißen Sie? Wie heißt du? What's your name? Literally, how are you called? Wo wohnen Sie? Wo wohnst du? Where do you live? Was machen Sie beruflich? Was machst du beruflich? What do you do for a living? So, as you can see, every form needs another verb ending and we will find out more about that detail in the next lesson. Realizing this difference, which doesn't exist in English, might let you ask yourself, but how the hell do I know when to use which form? Let's go back to our situation to understand better why they use different forms. David used Z because he didn't know Anna before and he didn't want to be impolite. Z is used with people you don't know yet. For example, if you talk to someone in a shop, in a restaurant, at the doctor or on the street, like here. Sometimes, even if you already know people, you still use Z, for example, at work because it creates a polite and professional atmosphere. So, going to the same working place or restaurant for the second time doesn't change the use of Z automatically. By the way, Z can be used speaking to one or more persons in a formal situation and it's always written with a capital S. Anna used do when she talked to David, because he's a young man. Maybe he was even still going to school, so that she said do spontaneously, because she felt that a formal way would be inappropriate. If she had talked to an unknown person of middle age, she certainly would have used Z too. So do is used when you talk to people you are close to like friends or family, but also with young people and children. It creates a personal and friendly atmosphere. Its plural form, you guys in English, is ihr. If you are not sure if du or sie is appropriate in a particular situation, it is better to choose sie. For example, when someone meets his boyfriend's or girlfriend's parents for the first time, it can be better to say Z in the beginning. After some time, this Z can change into a do, expressing a closer relationship, because it's quite common for people to offer to say do after a while. In this case, this offer would have to come from them because they are the older ones. We even have a funny verb for speaking informally or formally, 
duzen and siezen. Given the huge cultural challenge of being neither impolite nor unnecessarily distant, my advice would be relax. Most people in Germany are tolerant about that when they notice that you are not a native speaker. All right, now you know when to use the formal or informal you and this is, by the way, also a first step to understand the Germans better and not only their language. In the next lesson, we will have a closer look at the different verb endings we have already noticed here. See you there!